Are you ready? I don't care. I'm, I'm not ashamed, honey. I know I look good. That's what I know I look good. So, hey. I, uh, I, uh, do I want to say a couple of words before I leave. Uh, I'm double I know I gave him a blue. So, um... <laughs> Miss Diggs, she was, you know, she was, she was right though. You know, um, anything that she addressed me with, she was right, and you are fair. Thank you. So I want to appreciate you for that. And as managers like you though, that improves employees. And so I'm a better employee today because of you. <laughs> <laughs> and that sounds good. It sounds so beautiful. That sounded good. good. It sounded good. <laughs> so what I want you to do is sit right here. I want to do a special tribute to Miss Diggs, if that's okay with all of you all. So you have a seat right here. I'm not gonna give me a lap. I'm not gonna do this. Um, as all of you all know, most of you all know, I am a poet professionally. This is what I do. I'm a spoken word artist. So I want to dedicate a piece to. Uh, Miss Diggs, and it's called Mahogany. It's called what? Ma Ma mahogany. Oh, okay. Oh, Mahogany. All right. You ready? You ready? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Goddess of the universe, Mother Earth, you are the first. You were there from the beginning, from the cradle to the womb, the tomb that birthed me to life. Spiritually, my mother, my sister, my daughter, my rib, my, my wife. The most underappreciated creature of God in your praise is long overdue. Because see, before I was even conscious of a God, I knew mother. Mama, I knew you. Black queen, I was there when you ruled Egypt from a golden throne. Mm. Hallelujah. You took the cradle of civilization and you made it your home. Black queen, I was there when you stood by King Solomon's side as all of Jerusalem kneeled at his feet. He had a whole nation in the palms of his hands, but without Queen Sheba... King Solomon was incomplete. Black Queen, I was there when the angel Gabriel came to you and told you that you're going to have a son. Blessed is Mary, Mother among all mothers from your womb is where we got our Savior from. You got us through 400 years of slavery and 100 years of segregation. And you're such a blessing because when you teach a man, you teach an individual. But when you teach a woman, you teach a nation. And you're so amazing that in the 50s you organized us. In the 60s you went to jail for the cause. In the 70s you had everybody wearing afros. And in the 80s you became head of the household. <laughs> because the black man had flaws. And despite it all, even in the worst situations, you were able to make it better. Now y'all remember when Medea had to cook and clean and scrub floors and be a nanny but still came home and raised five children by herself? But somehow managed to keep the family together. Now, how many people remember when Big Mama was our doctor? She was our counselor. Could cook a meal without a recipe and tell you what it was missing by taking one little taste. And could discipline you with the switch from the nearest tree. And if you were ashy, y'all know what I'm talking about. If you were ashy, she would take that one thumb and a little bit of spit and wipe that dry spot right on you. <laughs> but something has happened to my Eve. <laughs> 